Tonag Stars. Gibraltar hoping for a victory to keep themselves alive. Trying to pave a way to the semi finals. So, teams already qualified. Top Tone All Stars. High Blasters. Middle Spartans. On the outside looking in, we got Schemas. Gibraltar. With a convincing win here today, Gibraltar Royals should be able to make the semi finals. So. Sure. 
Lagino knows who you're Christian. Yeah, she's a Christian. So, information coming in today. Coming to area, let's see this about the game. 3 0. So, in the ODI is Bang. What's their name? Bang. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka was whitewashed or blackwashed. So we got Krabbelar on strike. Man call. MC Dragon Stout. first after winning the toss and that's a wide signal by the umpire brilliant conditions for cricket afternoon sunshine steady breeze as Pop G bowling to Crab Lord man who always bat with a door this time he has a standard bat that was a gift and he misses was kicked off so I'm assuming it's a window blade <laughs> using a window blade today Chucky full toss missed out so we got PUBG up to the stump very good attempt there by PUBG Kablar he was in that window blade I'm wondering if Krablad thought PUBG was the burglar who kicked off the door. The way he hit that delivery. Back to the bowler. The bowler was so shocked. Comes up and bowls to Krablad again. A swing and a miss. So far, Gibraltar bowling. Putting top down and a bit of pressure, which was expected. They haven't got the ooh formula yet. As PUBG comes up and bows the crab lord, I'm not sure what he was trying to do. Perhaps he was trying to hit grandson, who is <laughs> support at the southern end of the ground. Bows the crab lord, and that's in the slot, and it's dispatched by crab lord for the six. That's the second six of top down innings. Man called Pigeon wanted to fly, but he is not that fast. And at the end of the second over, the score is 14. Good. Sorry, it's still in the second over. Rushing this over as Bob G trying to aim properly. Comes up and bows to Crab Lord. And he's bowling. And yet again, and yet again, Crablard is being bold. And gimme. So Gibraltar playing to stay alive has gotten off to a good start. Two overs. Twelve rounds and two or six. Two or six is that one. Still in his still in his second over. So we got PUBG up to Kimi. Oh, and he's defending that one with his legs. Off a no shot there. Just kept it out. He was told in the week that he'll be making the first duck in this new book. So he's saying, no, not today. I won't even play a shot. I would rather defend all these deliveries than to make a duck. Yeah, 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 yeah
So at the end of the second over, Top Town is 14 for the loss of one wicket. Player back in the pavilion, Crab Lord for six. So I think this was a strategy by Gibraltar. Saying they're gonna let Pigeon bowl his two overs to Breda. So Breda taking his midst up guard. Yeah, I'm to the stump, ball into Breda. Short and it's pulled away for six, so we can make it. That was the buffet style bowling there by Pippin. And the size of Grey that shows you he's not going to miss out on the big buffet. Open buffet, Grey that said thank you. So Grey that was told he's not going to make 13. He's on 12. And let's see what's going to happen. Oh, that's a wide ball there. Down the leg side. I think Greta is disgusted with himself there. Say so he should have put that one away. Oh. Don't look at the nearby. Man with the biggest belly on the field. Man in the number nine, searching for the six. So we got Pigeon up to Greta again. Beautiful delivery there. Great, I didn't know for a shot. Just kicked it out. Pigeon to Greta. Oh, beautiful delivery there by Pigeon. After being hit 4 6 in the first delivery of the over. This has come back very good. Bowling well, bowling well. <laughs> well played there by Greta. <laughs> Showing the maker's name. The model of the bat. Saying, pass that to you, SOB. Sure. So we got put into Greta. Oh, beautiful delivery there. Top peak. Greta had no clue about that one. Luckily, for a big man. His size six shoes kept it out. Good six, BJ. Good spell there by Pigeon. Two overs for 13. He didn't pick up a wicket. As we can see, the Magnum man on the Magnum field drinking the Magnum there. New recruit for Gibraltar Royals. <laughs> Say he's not going in the sun, he's feeling in the shade. <laughs> Say he's a superb all rounder. I'm a champion for him. He, he's a right handed left hand batsman. <laughs> Use left foot, right foot. <laughs> so we got. And that. He's gonna make it up. Give me, on strike. I look at the block of the camera now. Oh, and he's defending the one run. This year or not? Come 
And that's the first that ball of the over as Romy comes up and bows to Gimme. Swept away. was a low six. The score moves on to 46. As Romy comes up and moves to Gimme. Another. That's the second that ball of the over. Romy comes up and moves to Gimme. And that's Man. And Romy about to resume boarding. <laughs> That's the end of over number five. The score is 47. Thank you. 
and Jimmy missed out. And at the end of over number six, the score is 64 for one. Jimmy moves on to 27. Greater not out on 23. The score is 64. The man out is called Crab Lord. Batting with a window blade. Let down his defense and got bored. We're yet to see Blase. We're in the number three, signaling the amount of ducks in succession he has. Trying to break the spell. Three consecutive ducks. Do it already, man. Was the one made do it already, I'm do it again. when he had a 36 runs partnership with Bravo. Yeah. Bravo thought Blasi has broken his duck. He was still not out on ducks. And that's a. So, based on today's match, net run rate will decide who faces top town in the semi finals of the T10 blast. Just want to let all our supporters know that we have special going on at the Top Tone Sports Bar. Preventing a boundary was a feeler. A backward square, deep backward square.
Fantasy Oval. Number eight, being bowled by PUBG. And that's a wide signal, but prior the score moves on to 83 for one. Very special going on at the Top Tone Sports Bar. The Sports Club Bar, a thousand dollars. Gives you three magnum. And that's the edge. And Gimme goes for 44. And now... He made a duck in a partnership of 36 with Bravo. And that's it here. Is it going to be four? Thank <laughs> you. 
And Greta still not out at the crease on 24. Going neck to neck with Wiley for the highest runs. But Wiley was hindered by the duck he made in his last innings. Which we had a pre-recorded duck for Wiley's duck. He said it's a celebrity duck. And Gregory about to resume bowling comes up and bowls to Aisha is in the spot on the spot for six. And that's the kind of Aisha we know. The middle order batsman in Headley Cup showing his class to the veteran as Gregory comes up and bowls to Aisha again. And it's the same result. In the deep upward square for six. The score moves on to 103. That's the 100 up for top down. And Aija goes after two sixes. Brilliant piece of feeling by the keeper, Romy, and the bowler. Gregory saying justice has been served. Walking boldly back to the bowling crease. And the Aija with the fiery innings. And Mika in the last appearance made a first ball duck that wasn't gone unnoticed and the last time Wiley made a duck he said to be you cause it is Mika gonna equal Shot to get off the mark. Alright, Mika, you're good. by Mika. You're good, you're good, He got the gift and ensured he didn't pass his bat. Yes, my people. Like and share to my channel and subscribe to see the next video coming out and hit the icon bell. See? You see the next video while it come out. See? Subscribe button. Right, so Yeah, man. Just press it. Yeah, man. Like and share. Watch your views. More and some more views. Give me some more views. See? Yes, some people. Respect our manners. Score moves on to 110. Greta moves on to 30. As Gregory comes up and moves to Greta. <laughs>
Fast forward from the old book by Blase. Continuing into the new book. It's the first duck. This is the final over bowling by Kirk. So, Blase in the old book on a high. A hat trick of ducks. And now he starts the new book on a low. Another duck. Four consecutive ducks. Mika. Showing class of batting. Straight down the ground for six. The score moving. Not as fast as the last outcome, but it's 116. For four. As Kirk comes up and bows to Mika down the track to meet him. Smart piece of batting by the truck lad. And Greta batting through the entire innings of Top Town. As Kirk comes up and bows to Greta. And that's cut away for six. A brilliant shot by Greta. And Greta moves on to 36. And Thunderfoot happy with that six. As Kirk comes up and bows to Greta again. And it's a wide signal by the umpire. The score moves on to 124. Gibraltar needing a high total to chase to make sure their run rate is up for the challenge. Romy finding him at least playing cricket and that's the ball. Miss kick. the track to meet him. Nice. Smart batting by Mika. <laughs> and at the end of the 10 overs for Top Town, the score is 129 for four with the skipper. Give me top scoring on 44. decides who make it to the semi-finals for the fourth spot. Scheme already played their five matches. Gibraltar Kala 
stops, chasing 62 to win. From 60 deliveries. And Duck follow people all around. <laughs> Shirt of 2x, 4x, sorry, custom made, number 14. As Mika comes up and goes to Romy. Still not able to get off the mark is Romy. A bit frustrated. A frustration always followed by a duck. As Mika comes up and goes to Romy again. Playing on the defense.
not able to get off the mark. It's zero without loss after two. And this is the first time in T10-2 made Nova starting an innings. And now the right arm, right arm Seema, Liam to bowl to Romeo. That's a white signal by the umpire. That's the first score on the board for Gibraltar. Yeah. And after 13, after 13 deliveries, 12 legal, Gibraltar won without loss. And there he goes, it's followed by a six. Pulled away by Romy. We all know his capabilities. Tier two of the wild side stand. That was a tennis shot by the skipper himself, Romeo, leading from the front. The last time we see Romy making a duck, his team collapse, chasing 62 to win. They need him to stay at the crease because Dudley seemed unsettled at the other end. Liam to resume bowling. Liam comes up and bowls to Romy again. This time is it an edge. And the umpire says not out. And that's the third appeal for a caught by the keeper. And the umpire still says not out. And Liam thought he got his victim after being hit for a six. Is it gonna be another six? As Leon turns, comes up and bows to Romy and it's a no ball signal by the umpire. Brilliant piece of feeling from Goods. And it's a free hit. And the man on strike will be Dudley. This is the only free pass he'll get in D10 cricket. If your stump is bold, you're still not out. The only way you can be out of a free hit is run out. You can't be stumped. You can't be caught. And you can't be bold. And uh, there Liam comes up and bowls to Dudley. And the free hit goes. Dudley with the wild swing. And so far, Dudley on eight deliveries without scoring. As that comes up and bows to him. The score moves on to 15 without loss as Leon comes up and goes to Dudley again. Another wild swing. As Leon comes up and goes to Dudley again. I 
As Googs comes up and bows to Romy. And back from the slot and he goes for another six. The score moving quite steadily for Gibraltar. It's now to giving run chase. As Googs comes up and bows to Romy again. Disappointed with himself. Romeo thought he had that one over the boundary rope for another six. As Gooks comes up and bows to Romy. And Skipper Gimme using his chest to prevent the boundary. That's in the air, and it goes. And that's a key wicket for top down. And now the pigeon himself in all white. And that's the first wicket to tumble for Gibraltar. And this is a contest that we must see. It's the inventor. It's the creator of the uh -huh formula. It's the great uh -huh himself about to bowl to one of the most powerful hitters in cricket. The left-hander. Dudley as uh, bowling over the wicket to Dudley comes up and bows to Dudley is it a catch it was a brilliant chance by brilliant effort from DD Shot from Pigeon, yeah. cut away for six, showing class. 
thumbs up and pose to Pidgey like that. Yeah. in the hit, very high. And I'm not sure what Boots was trying to do, but it ended up as... And Pidgey continues to join in the sugar. And that's another hit as you brought up. Starting to get alive, they're now 41 for one. We're into over number five. As uh, comes up and goes the pigeon. Watch it, watch it. This time the bird puffing his chest. As uh, we're in the number ten for top down. The right arm, pace up. Being hit all over the ground. Comes up and goes the pigeon. That's a wide signal by the umpire. The score moves on to 42 for one. Just want to remind the patrons that we have special going on at the bar. A thousand dollars gives you four BNG products. The score moves on to 48. And Gibraltar hoping to rub salt into the wound after they're the last team to be top down in any competition. As if the sneakers he's wearing is about five pounds each. Five pounds each. Burns comes up and goes to Dudley again. It's in the air. Is he gonna be taken? And look at that delivery. That out Dudley. Dudley seemed a bit tired. He swings his back too much. Second wicket down for Gibraltar. And now the vice captain, Gregory, replacing Dudley at the crease. That was a bad delivery to be left alone for an additional run on the scoreboard. And it ended up taking the wicket off the opener. Sixty one. 
Ahmad Patu. Batsman back to the pavilion are Romeo for 19 and Dudley for 11. Molas, Gooks, and Zeti with the wickets for Top Town All Star so far. Comes up and bows to Pigeon. And that's a wide signal by the umpire. And after this over from Zeti, I'm sure he's going to retire Earth. Yeah. As he turns, comes up and bows to Pigeon again. In the air. And it's taken. singing London Bridge is falling down as soon as Romeo went back to the pavilion. He seemed as if Gibraltar is about to collapse again, yet again in another match. So, 
You've never seen better cricket than this, people. As the end comes up and bowls to Kirk again. Oh, God. And when they see the deliveries of the sweaters pulling him back. As Leon turns, comes up and goes to Kirk again. But he has it, he's afraid to hit Leon outside the park.
himself room to play a cut shot and then not offering a stroke at the ball. As Gooks comes up and moves to PUBG again. Wide signal by the umpire. The score moves on to 75 for 5. We're into over number 8. Gibraltar struggling to get runs on the board. And that side here, and it will go for six. And PUBG making sure Gibraltar getting the net run rate up. They're now 81 for five. And 
The score is 88 to 5.